Hello everybody, welcome to my playthrough of the Banjo-Kazooie Randomizer. Made by Jigglypuff, Giant Jigglypuff, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. And yeah, I apologize for the green screen, it's not perfect, but I'm not really in a big area here. I got my green screen right here, I, I got myself behind. So it can't really go back any farther. And I've got my entertainment unit set up with all my devices. Well, most of my devices anyway that I can fit. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 devices all connected. So yeah, this is ridiculous. But yeah, I'm playing the randomizer, everything. A lot of things, not everything, but a lot of things are randomized in this um, game here played on the Project 64 version 2.3 emulator, and yeah, even the music randomized. The music is different in a lot of places. The aesthetics are also randomized. The model swaps here and there, and yeah, even the worlds are randomized. The moves are randomized. The skin. For Benjo and Kazooie is different. There's a lot of options that you can choose for how Benjo and Kazooie will look. And apparently Kazooie became hot grunty. As you can see though. Yeah, about that. And Benjo became... Well, not, not really. I don't know who is this. I think it's Benjo, but... I did try a little earlier playing this, but the first world that showed up was Click Clock Wood. And then, to top it off, to make it worse, exiting, I had the option of exiting from world you entered from. So, exiting Click Clock Wood would take me to the Click Clock Wood entrance, but unfortunately the game crashed. So I don't know why. But yeah, let's play right here. And see what we got. Alright, I got skip intro cutscenes turned off. So if you want to see that, let me know. And I've got, I've got a lot of them recorded. I can just pick one at random and upload it for you guys. I've got a separate video. So let me know if you guys want to see that. It's the intro that plays before this. And when we enter Grunty Glare for the first time, that will also be added to the video. So, there we go. Alright, let's go! I said let's go! Whoa! Hey, Bottles, how you doing, you punk? Welcome to the window. Press LRB to skip my text. Not too strong, Bottles. Huh? We care about you, dumb bat. And that's coming from Loudmouth to Louis. <laughs> oh man, that really means a lot. We got you for us. It's just hard to talk about. Anyway, back to the game. You'll need 817 notes and 64 jiggies to reach Grunty. We're not going to learn the moves because the tutorial didn't change. So. There's like no reason for it to change, so we're just gonna... What was that? We're just gonna get the tutorial moves and get on with our lives, so yeah, let's go. Uh-oh. We got trouble in here. We got a yum yum disguised us. Yep. It does have the eyeballs, it just... Sewing up for some reason. Okay. Not, not only are the music and the world randomized, the moves are randomized, a lot of the collectibles are also randomized. So we're, they're gonna be in different locations. So we got the mumbo token. Banjo is a mumbo token. And there could be a jiggy up here, or empty honeycomb, or a mumbo token. 
I'm not a mumble no, talker. No, no, no. Not really sure how I feel about that. But yep, yeah, that guy also appeared from Freezing the Peak. And apparently when you collect the honey, it's the magic carpet going down. So that's what that is. Different sound effects happen in different locations. So there you go. A lot of the character icons on the text boxes are also different. There's a teehee right there and I can't get them because we don't have Wonder Wing. Also, hello Jiggy. Huh. Okay, that is weird. You're not supposed to move like that. Also, the sky changed. Uh, I believe it's Mad Monster Mansion. So, I think. When we get to the top of the mountain, I'll take a look again. We gotta destroy these boulders with the big barge attack. Holding Z and then pressing B, and we get a, a, a empty honeycomb, which is now yellow. And Ruby is an empty honeycomb. Wow. So if the normal yellow honeycombs are empty honeycombs. Huh. We got the double honeycomb right here. We got red. They're not actually double honeycombs. They just look red. We don't actually have double health until we get them later in the game, if we want to. So, they, yeah, we just, it's a change from yellow to red. So, when we go in the water, it's the normal blue, I believe. Or... No. It changed to the empty honeycombs. Huh. Okie dokie. So, what does it mean then for the blue? Honeycombs. How would those show up? Oh. So they would show up when you get the double health. It'll go to blue. Okay. I see how it is. Oh no, we gotta talk to this guy. I was, I was about to show you a trick. But yeah. You can skip the text by pressing L, R, and X. Well, LRB on the N64 controller, but I'm using an Xbox One controller for the Horizon 5 limited edition controller. So left bumper, right bumper, and X or B to skip the text. I've got the L uh, left trigger as the Z button. A is A, X or B. I have a B. Y doesn't do anything. I can move around with the control stick. The C buttons are the, is the right stick here. D-pad, I don't have that on. And the left and right bumper is the L and R. So that's how I programmed the controller. Also, let me stand on you. And I believe, yeah, this is Mad Monster Mansion. Okay, let's go. This would be Grunty Falling music from the tower. Thankfully, we're not going to be hearing that for... at all, other than being on the bridge. Here, there he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Yeah. Wowza. Hey, it's me, Mr. Wowza. Now go and find a picture with the piece missing, what? I read that right. I don't know why I said what, but okay. And there we go, that's the Jiggy right there. That could be a mumbo token or empty honeycomb piece or whatever. Depends on the randomizing, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna get annoying. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to get a lot of health. Oh yeah, here we go, Mumbo's Mountain. The world's eyes. Well, hmm. 
I have basic Cephal turned on. Basically what that means is in the world, the bottle molehills are in the same locations, but the moves are randomized, so we don't know what we're going to get. I also don't have checked include potential soft locks. So what that means is that if you have that checked, you could get soft locked if you're not careful. And in a previous seed that I tried comment commentating on, I did unfortunately get soft locks because of the way the warp worked. The warp show also randomized. And in the case of Mumbo's Mountain here, entering Mumbo's Skull took me to a different place. But going down inside Tickler's Tower to the bottom and then exiting, that took me into Mumbo's Skull. But unfortunately, exiting Mumbo's Skull took me back inside Tickler's Tower at the bottom, not the top. So what that means is that since Banjo and Kazooie can't climb up to the top, at least I haven't been able to anyway, and I don't think you're able to have Kazooie do it unless you do very, very, very frame-specific jumps. Many tricks are up my sleeve. To save yourself, you better leave. Yeah, Grunty's text would also change. Not all of it, but some of them will be changing, so there's that. And unfortunately, once you transform into the termite, or in that case, ticker, because the transformations would also be randomized, but changing to the uh, similar transformation. So in that case, termite would be ticker, because they would just swap models. But ticker, I couldn't actually enter another world, because I couldn't jump high enough to get into Clanker's Cavern area, but even then, I can't do a Big Buster with the Tickle Termite, because with the Termite, you can't do any moves. And you can't go down the Trigger Trigger Cove area, because you can't climb the vine to get out of the area as a Termite, and you can't jump into the Trigger Trigger Cove chest as a Termite, because it's just barely out of reach that you can't jump no matter how tr far you try to make it off of the ledge from jumping in. And the, t the termite doesn't jump high enough to get into the chest. So I tried going up to the bubble glue swamp area. But unfortunately, that that entrance was to Treasure Trove Cove. And since Mumbo is not in Treasure Trove Cove, you we can't transform back into Banjo, and exiting that world would take me out of Trigger Troll Cove area, in that area, and I can't get out of the Termites, so that's, that's a no-no. I can't go up into the Gobi Valley area because the Termite can't jump or use the Suck Jump Pad, and I can't get into the Clanker's Cavern area, I can't do the Beak Buster to raise the pipes to jump across into that world. I, the only place I could have gone was back down to Mumbo's Mountain, but even then, going into Mumbo's Skull, transform back into Banjo, exit Mumbo's Skull, be back in the Tickler's Tower, and I can't climb up, so I... That's a soft lock right there. So you gotta be careful of how you go through the game if you have include potential soft locks turned on. But I don't have it on, so... That's not gonna happen. Also, yeah, there is Banjo the Termite. So when we go into Mumbo's Skull and turn into um, the Ticker, we'll be a Ticker. So there we go. What is this music? This is Gobi Valley music, I know that. But where in Gobi Valley? That's the question. I got a orange right there. So there's gonna be probably a Jinjo in the place. Alright, sorry about that. I just had to take a massive sneeze for no reason. 
But yeah, here we go. We got the gold feathers, we got red feathers, we got the notes here. The termites have their eyes. What? Okay, the notes are normal. What up? Okay. Are the eggs the ones I'm, I'm thinking of? Okay, no. Then what was doing the... What was doing that? Or is that the gin... No. Was that the Jinjo? I have no idea now. Also, I have produced enough notes in the world. So what that means is that there will only be a specific number of notes per world and I believed what that means is we'll get to the total of 817 notes needed to reach Grunty at the end of the game. I, you, you could have the produce extra notes option turned on if you want, but I just have the um, produce enough notes, so that way we'll know for sure how many notes are exact in each world. And hopefully we'll be able to tell also those stupid idiot small butt compared to big butt. He is the more annoying bull, I tell you that. Oh yeah, that's the honeycomb. That's the honeycomb doing that. So, there we go. Okay, what move do we have here? Big Buster, okay. Yep, the dialogue doesn't change for that, I don't think so. At least all that I've read were all normal, so... The move ones are not any different with the dialogue. Alright, that's the mumble token right there. There's a weird looking glitch with the skybox. Hello, Jinjo! That's the purple one, even though this is normally the orange. But I also have random Jinjo colors. So you never know what you, what color you're gonna get. And in that case, it's pink. And the first one I picked up, probably on the, the island down there, is the yellow one stuff. Also, what is going on here? Okay. What world is this again? With the skybox? Oh! I'm not sure, but that is creepy. Imagine being here in this world with that skybox. Wouldn't that be just creepy? You'd probably have a nightmare about it, wouldn't you? Hello. You're different. You look like you have a unibrow too. With the way how it, it looks really dark up there. Huh. Alright, there you go. I said, here we go. Woo. I know I don't have talent right yet, but I'm trying to get... Hey! There you go. Alright, got that. And... Yep, there's the ginger right there, took the place of the orange. I did not do that. Hello! Oh, oh, there we go. Collected it in the cutscene. Clever bear. There you go. Bottles, a chimpy. Makes sense. 
Nice. We got that jiggy. Okay, what move? Talonflat, yes. Talonflat will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. All right. Shut up. We had to have gotten that here because we would exit out of... Oh, crap. An option that I have enabled right now is no detransformations. So what that means is we can take the transformations anywhere in Guantulda's Lair and into other worlds until we change inside Mamo's skull again to transform. So what that means is with the termite or tickle in this case in Mamo's Mountain we could go anywhere in the lair we want, although we can't go up to the top of the lair as the termite because it can't jump high enough and it can't use the sock jump pad, so... Ho! Let's collect all the notes that we can get. The moves are randomized like, well, hopefully this will be the eggs. Uh-oh. Nope. Shock jump again. <laughs> I didn't want that. I wanted the egg move. Bottles, you stupid idiot. Alright, we got enough notes, I mean, tokens for the first Mumbo transformation. And hopefully, well, since there's no potential shock locks, enabled. We can actually change into the termite or the barren bird and be able to leave the level normally, so there's that. Also, why didn't I smash, smash that hut? I was standing on the hut and I didn't smash. There we go, we got that. Good job. I don't have a Banjo-Kazooie hat, but I'm wearing a Wario hat that I found at a GameStop in my old hometown. Cool. Nobody messaged me. So sad. Okay. Now, is there an empty honeycomb right there? There is, okay. I can't get it until I get the egg move. Uh-oh. Well, this is Snacker's music for some reason showing up in here. Oh, you idiot. I'm gonna kill you. I hear you, Ripper. Yet, I don't see you anywhere. Why? I don't see Ripper anywhere. Really? Really? We have a stop and swap location music playing right here. Don't really know which location though. It's not Treasure Trove. It could be Treasure D. Okay, that could either be Rushy Beckett or Click Clock Wood. It could be Gobi Valley. I'm gonna take a guess and say that's Gobi Valley, but you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. Okay, uh, no jiggies. We have a lot of mumbo tokens, though. Hmm. Okay. Well, if we go in here, then we're gonna appear right out there. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna collect all of this. Because I need to collect every single note at once in the level. 
because if I don't, I'll have to recollect them. 80 notes. And that's not counting the ones that are inside Tickle's Tower. Go away, you stupid small butt. I got all the ones underwater, didn't I? I'm gonna check again. No, I did not. Okay. There's a note here. Goldie's Valley. Huh. There's another note there. Okay, we got all of those. I'm gonna go back over here because I didn't collect the rest of these. There's a couple notes here. I did not. Camera, stop being stupid. Okay, I got all of those. <clears throat> no notes there. And the carry limit. Uh, how did you get over here? The carry limits on the collectibles, the feathers, and the eggs are random. So you could have a lot of them, or you could have a limited number of them. So, for example, on one of the earlier seeds that I was playing, I got over 130 gold feathers. You could have that many, or with the red feathers at one point, the max was 51. So you could have a lot of them, or have a normal amount, or have a low number. So, yeah, about that. Yep, there's some notes up there. And there's a note up there on the second level as well, so. All right, let's change into the termite because we've done everything as the barren bird that we can, so. We're gonna be a giant tickle with no eyeballs for the win. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, this is a little creepy. No eyeballs. But we're not supposed to play as the tickle. So... Yeah, how about that? All right, let's go down here because this one will make us appear up here. Oh, that, that guy I was hearing. Ow. Ow. Will you move? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, you know what? Don't hit me. I gotta get into Mumbo's skull. I gotta transform back. I, I, did, I didn't think to try that entrance first before going in here, but lo and behold, we have it now. Okay. Alright, here we go. Now we are up here. Now I could... Idiot! Now we can collect these notes. 89 again, wow. There is no other notes in this world. It's just 89. Although I haven't, have I checked up here yet? Yeah, I have. I have gone up there. Dang it. Ow! Ah. So, there's only 89 notes in Mumbo's Mountain, will it? Okay. Let's see something here about 817 divided by 9. There's 9 words, right? Mumbo's Mountain, Triangle Trove Code, Clanker's Cavern, uh, Groby's Valley. No, Bubble Group Swamp. Grubby Valley, PGGP. Yeah, there's nine walls, so 90.7. So, yeah. 
Unfortunately, there's about 90 times 9. No, that would be... no. Okay, what is 90 times 9? That's 810. Okay. What about 91 times 9, 8, 9, okay. Yeah, some of them words are gonna be 89 notes, so that's unfortunate. Oh well. Okay, let's go. Whew. We can exit the world now because we got that jiggy. Although. Well, yeah. We can. There's no D transformations. So we can see how far we can take this. Termite. Tickle. Wait, you didn't learn all the new moves. Yeah, you moved the egg somewhere else, you dip crap. So. Yeah, we gotta go to another world and see if the eggs are over there. They could be in Treasure Twelve, but we'll never know until we get there, so. Hey, Bottle Switcher. Well, that's a thing. You can't talk to Bottle as a picker. I feel rejected. Can you talk to Bruntilda? Or in this case, Grunty? No, you can't. Well. Have I talked about the controller I'm using? I'm using an Xbox One Forza Horizon 5 limited edition controller. I mapped this the same way as the N64 controller. The left trigger is the Z button. The left and right bumpers are L and R. Uh, the right stick is the camera. Analog stick, left stick is moving. D-pad doesn't do anything because I turned that off. Pause button is the start button. Y doesn't do anything, B and X are the B button on the N64 controller, and A is A. So, that's how that works. I would use this, I have an N64 controller with the USB, and it would it would work just fine, but uh, the control stick. Yeah, about that. If you had seen my... Mario Party 1 Project 64 emulator Let's Play that I did back in 2014, I believe it was. I did play that using the emulator plus the controller. And during that Eternal Star Part 2 video that I did, the control stick popped off when I was playing a minigame, I think, Castaways. It was a bonus minigame where you would use the control stick to flick the fishing line and toss it out and then rotate it to reel in and yeah it popped off so and yeah I, I never got to the point of uh, maybe even using glue to put the control stick back on and keep it there I might do that but I'm probably gonna get another N64 controller that would connect to the computer and use that so in the meantime I'm using this okay it is really quiet why because it's a non-looping music that's why well, this one is different, and this one is nice, so, if we go down here as the termite, we're gonna sock lock, because we can't jump into the chest, Trigal 12 cold chest, and we can't climb vines. We can't even jump in here, because not only can we not jump up, even though it looks like we can, you can't use the beak buster as the termite, so we can't even raise the pipe shop to jump across to the world. So we have to go this way. No, 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 you go away, you stupid small butt piece of crap. That bull is annoying, even more so than big butt. Guaranteed. Okay, let's go in here, and hopefully this world is not... Hopefully this world is not... Okay, good. It, are the worlds normal in this one? It could be normal. But... I'll be able to get in as the transformation, so... And Mumbo is in here, so I can just transform back and... We can do this world as a result. Woo! Nice. 
This is very nice music. We can't go in there. Shut up. I don't want to talk to you guys because, well, I like listening to that other music. So bring it back and bring it back now before I kick you up. But also, yep, there's a Jinjo behind here. There's a note right there. Don't hit me. Don't touch me. There you go. One more token, there's another one too. Extra life. More notes. I figured now would be a good time to collect these as the picker because you can't go under here as Banjo and Kazooie for obvious reasons. This is very nice music. I could listen to this all day. If you guys like listening to this music, I could do a recording of it and upload it for you guys if you guys want to listen to it. Let me know in the comments if you want to listen to it. I'm pretty sure there could already be- WHERE THE frick DID YOU COME FROM?! He came from up there, obviously, but... Wow! Uh-huh. He almost dropped down on the termite, almost taking away my health. What a dick of a bull. Hello, Banjo B. How you doing? Oh, that guy is a mummy. Don't go near that guy. We already have over 30. We have 30 gold feathers. We already have over 10 normally. So that's nice. And we have 42 red feathers. They might be high amounts for the Go away! Go away! Let me through! Go away! We could have a high amount of the tokens. I mean... Uh, what? Okay, this is ridiculous. This warp is broken. We can't use it. I feel ripped off. Go away! Wow. Okay, can we go in here at least? No. Okay. So I think this was a mistake coming here as the termite. So. I will uh, see you back at the Mumbo Mountain entrance because I have to go back there in order to change back into the Baron Bird because I don't have the transformation turned on so Mumbo can't turn me back into the Baron Bird and there's the move yet I can't talk to bottles or anyone I used to fucking tickle so yeah I will see you back at Mumbo's Mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, your best note score for this world is now 19. If you go in the water, I used to tickle. Hey, Gloopy, huge. If you go in the water as Tickle over there, then you can't jump back out. You can't even jump up over there because one, Tickle doesn't jump high enough, and two, you can't use the shock jump pad, so 
Yeah, we're screwed on that one. Okay, we are now out of Mambo's Mountain. And we can go up with Talon Trot. Let's avoid bottles at all costs. Well, at, at least I can skip the text, but alright. Okay, here we are. Now we can talk to anyone we want. Hello there, young ones. I'm Gwentilda. Gwentilda is nice your sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Gwentilda's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Gwentilda brushes her rotten teeth with tuna ice cream flavored toothpaste. Yeah. She also washes her hair with baked beans. Yeah. And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's boutique. Nice. Also, your finger is long and weird. Okay, well, okay, I can go. No, I. Did I? No. No, I didn't wake him up yet, but. There we go for a jiggy. Good thing I went back here. There we go, we got that. You've activated a magic cauldron. Who cares? Not like we're gonna use it that long anyway. How, br how bright they are, you stupid sorts. A target for my dumb cohorts. Cool. Your cohorts are dumb. Your words, not mine. Alright, what world is behind here? Are the worlds just normal? I was hoping they would be randomized, but... They are. Okay. What the hell is this? This is beyond creepy. Okay, we're gonna leave that. We'll, we'll go back there later. But for now, let's go down here. And see what this one, what this world is all about. Is it treasure troll? It's freezy. It's a freezy. Here we go. All right. Grunty's layer of music in Freezy, really. How dare you? Uh, let's go down and collect all of these. Whoa! Collect a note, stupid. I'm going to collect as many notes as possible. We have to collect all of them because there's 817 notes. That's a lot. Even though we only need 64 jiggies, which is nice. We don't need 70 like we have to in Benjo Tui. Where's the twinklies? Woo! How dare you eat them up? Hey! Stop eating my twinklies! Bitches! Wow. Hearing a sped up version of Grunty's Lair is weird. 
That is a ridiculous sped up version of that. But alright. Cool. Also, I can't do the rest of this because I don't have eggs! Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Ow! How dare you! You know what? I'm gonna pound you in the head. What? Ha! What do you think of that? <gasps> jiggy! <gasps> jiggy! <laughs> There's two jiggies right there in the open. Well, nice. Hey, there's another one. Did, did you see that? There's another jiggy right there. We're getting rich. Aw, oh, look how tiny you are. Ow. <laughs> Woo. Hey, what's up? Time for the bugger to learn the ancient ways of the egg. Alrighty, there it is. Cool. 106? Nice. There's more eggs than we can count with that because that's not the normal egg count. For the randomizer anyway. Woo! I'm gonna grab that egg in three, two, one. Oh, you're so cute. Look how tiny you are. Ow. Why do you idiots hurl them so far? Those guys are idiots. They're a bunch of dicks that don't know how to be polite and stop throwing snowballs at my face. Hey, Jinjo, how are you doing? Come over here. Alrighty, there's one there. I I didn't even see which one he was. Yellow, cool. Gonna grab even more flags because flags. What? Gonna grab even more feathers because we never know. Well, we wanna see how many we can actually get. And wow. Hey! I wanna grab the jiggy, not bounce back into the water. Hey, Ginger, wow! Will you stop having me in the face? My god. These guys got assholes. There's another Jiggy there. There we go. Okay, I gotta get health. I gotta get health immediately. No, 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 no. You are not gonna hit me in the face. Let me grab these beautiful honeycombs. I know they're not the ideal sound for the honeycombs, but I have to collect them. Hey! No, let me through, let me through! Ah. Can I at least touch the jiggy? You cannot. I hate you. You suck. There's another Jinjo right here. There should be a podium right here, first, second, third, but I think that'll show up when we uh, help Boggy out. Okay, we gotta go down, we gotta get past these stupid idiots that loves to hurt you in the face with a snowball. Alright, up the tree we go. So tiny, wow. The size of the enemies are random in the different worlds, so they could be huge or they could be tiny. In this case, in this world, they're tiny. Almost so cute, but they would be terrifying as well because they will attack. 
Like that. Whoa! Hey, a, a poison. Ah, it's cold. Nice warm backpack for me too. Right, I got the first gift near bottle, so that's the second of the third present that we got. Okay, careful. Mumbo token. If that's the mumbo token, then does that mean uh, we can't see it? Oh. Like before I grab that sled, we'll just go here. Nope. Can't even do the flying yet. So I can't actually get all the notes because there's gonna be some notes on top of the hat as well. So Woo! Oh, right in the face. Woohoo! Alright. Number five. Okay, let's go up here. I'm not gonna leave the world, but since the oh we got some notes over here. Even on the igloo, which is normally a gold feather, I believe. And yeah, we're gonna go in there, which would take us out right here. Go away. We're gonna avoid the enemies like the plague. Cause we have low health and that's not fun. Oh, look at all these notes. There's a lot of notes in this one. Yep. That jiggy looks like it can be touched, but unfortunately, we cannot. We cannot touch it. But now that we do have the eggs, oh no, we got. Cool. We're loaded with jiggies in this world. That's awesome. All right, how many did we get now? Wow, only one Jiggy, four in Mumbo's Mountain, three in Grunty's Lair, so three, four, plus one, huh, so those Jiggies we've been collecting, therefore the other worlds we haven't been to yet, so, yeah, I did not. Okay, what haven't we done yet? I guess we can go over here. Stop throwing snowballs at me, assholes. Seriously. There's Boggy. I will kill you because I need health and I need it now. No, 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 no. I had to. Hello, 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 hello. I'm gonna go into Mumbo's stall because... Well, I wanna see where that goes. I do have all three gifts, so maybe, just maybe, The, this entrance would... No. Uh, okay. Maybe Mumbo's entrance would actually take us into Boggy's Igloo if we can get up there. Huh, this is normal. We do have enough for this move, but 
I want to see what other. Well, the next one would be Click Clock Wood, if we're gonna go in that order. But I do want to find the other moves first. So after this world, we're gonna go and see if we can find the early levels, Circle Throw Cove and Clunker's Cavern, and see if we can find those moves in those worlds, because we're, we're not gonna find any in Click Clock Wood. We don't have Bottle Supper on, so. In order for a bottle supper to work, we have to have that checked. And so <laughs> with bottle supper turned on, the bottles more hills will be in different locations in the game. In the different worlds. But with basic supper on. That just happened. Stupid. Asshole of a snowman. Ah, who cares. We're gonna go back there later. It does take us out of this, which means... Hmm. Whoa! Where are you going? Go away. I'll get those two jiggies up there when the time comes, when we can get flying and running shoes. But for now, let's go into a Clunker's Cavern. Well, before I do that, let me go this way. Cause I do, since I do have the egg move now, I can open up these webs. I can activate that warp, so when I reload the save, I can just go through that and be back up here. Or I can just create a, a save state, so when I stop the recording, I can just click that save state and I can just load it back up and be right where I left off, so there we go. Alright, Clunker Cavern, in we go.